Welcome back to Pokemon Gold! Okay, so last time we traveled the Dragon's Den, obtained the Dragon Fang, and also obtained a Dratini, and named it Den Pop. Doesn't sound like we did much. But between then and now, I went and trained Den Pop. He's now at... She, actually I think it's a she. Is now... Yeah, she is now at level uh, 27. Which is basically the highest... Or the level of the highest level Pokemon in this area, at least. Not counting the trainers, just the wild one. I think the highest level Pokemon here is a level 27 uh, Graveler, but Den Pop could tackle that, no problem. So, it hasn't evolved, as you probably just saw, but it did learn Dragon Rage, and I taught it Waterfall, because it can learn Waterfall, and I'm going to need a Pokemon that knows Waterfall, and Den Pop's physical attack is way better than anything else. So, Waterfall's perfect for Den Pop, especially when tackling Gravelers and Geodudes and any other Rock types, or even Fire types for that matter. And of course, it already knew Thunder Wave, and then it learned Twister, which is all very good. So, that's Den Pop. As far as anyone else goes, Fudo is already level 35, I think. Uh, Moonin and Kitten leveled up, but nothing really special happened after that. The, like, Kitten didn't evolve or learn anything, and Moonin didn't learn anything. Hecton's close to evolving, but. We can now actually continue on. We need to head... Let's pull up the map. We need to head down this route, which will take us to New Barktown. Now, we could just fly to New Barktown, but there's trainers down this route that I may want to fight. And other Pokemon to give, like, Den Pop and everyone else some levels. So let's go. Oh, well, I think the trainer I'm looking for is down here. Yeah. Hello, I've been seeing you throughout my whole training thing. Be prepared for anything. Let me see if your Pokemon have been raised properly. Like, I've seen you several times in passing while I was training, and I wanted to fight you, but I wanted to save... Machop. Level 24 Machop. Well, sorry, Den Pop, but that's not your area of expertise. This looks like a job for Hecton, who is almost ready to level up. You know, Seismic Toss. Not as much as I thought, but we're going to put up Reflect just to keep our defense up. You wouldn't believe it. Every time I was in training, um, freaking Hiker Anthony kept calling me. Like, you want to battle? You want to battle? Come on, let's battle. He's like, dude, I just kicked your ass. Go, let's battle. Come on. It's like, okay, fine. We'll battle. I'll beat your ass the same way I did last time. But he's got, like, two Gravelers now, and a um, Machamp? No, a Machoke, sorry. And I defeat them the same way every time. Den Pop destroys the Gravelers, and Hecton destroys the Machoke. That's, like, just like I'm gonna deal with Eric here. Oh, a level 27 Graveler! Well, now! Murder it! Yeah. That gives a lot of experience. And another Machop. Okay, switch. No, wait. We'll keep them pop in. And then switch. I know Hecton's going to take some hits here, but I want Den Pop to get the experience. Den Pop is at a good level to be able to continue on, but it's not at the level I really want it to be right now. And smack. And you're dead! Or fainted, whichever you want to say. 28, yeah. And, uh, well, still 34. <laughs> Good job, though, Hecton. Oh, I lost that. I'll head back to Blackthorn's Ice Path and train some more. I tried to do that, but then I remembered Den Pop's the Dragon. Oh, there's a guy up there. I want him. Den Pop's the Dragon and the Ice Path don't work. Who was this? Yoink! A Max Potion! Oh, I want that guy up there. You know what? I have a perfect way to do that. We fly to Blackthorn City. I don't want to miss any trainers. 
This is probably what this episode is going to be about, just me hitting all these trainers. Hello, nurse. The nurse that I came to while I was training, like, this... I'm, I'm just surprised that the game hasn't been programmed to scold me for coming to the Pokemon Center too many times. Because I walked in there, like, almost every five minutes. Be like, my Dratini is poisoned. My Dratini is wounded. My Dratini is paralyzed. And it's just like, take better good care of your Dratini. It's like, no, it's not my fault. Those Teddy, Teddy Ursas, Teddy Sarahs or whatever. I don't know what they're pronounced right now. They know lick. <laughs> they paralyzed Den Pop. Alright, where's that dude? I think I... Oh, shoot! Did I just do it again? Oh my god, forget him then. I can't get that guy either. Ah. Okay, I totally didn't just fly back here and then accidentally get Den Pop poisoned by a Gligar and then fly back and healed again. And oh my god, it's another Gligar. Ugh. I swear to god, if you poison Den Pop, I am not going to be happy with you. It won't just be Dragon Rage you have to worry about. Okay, good. I don't care about Harden. Dragon Rage does not care about Harden. One does not simply protect themselves from Dragon Rage. Even though you could use the move Protect. Yeah, whatever. Okay, finally. You! You better be worth it. What are your thoughts on raising Pokémon? Your head in the clouds here? I came all this way just to battle you, and you're just like, hmm. What are your thoughts on raising Pokemon? Oh my god, totally worth it. Hello, Pidgeot. Okay. 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 This is gonna be good. Pidgeot. What can I do against a Pidgeot? Let's try Dragon Rage. I know Pidgeots have a lot of health, but. Oh, not bad. I'm surprised that the sand attack... Did the sand attack miss? My attention was... Elsewhere. Murdered. Awesome. Okay, Ten Pop did it. Electabuzz. Uh... No. Electabuzz is, of course, electric. Ten Pop's resistant. But just for shits and giggles, let's thunder wave him anyway. Ouch! Resistant my ass, that hurt. Uh waterfall. Oh the frickin' sand attack did go through. Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage. <laughs> when in doubt, Dragon Rage. This should kill you. Aw, oh, yeah. And it should give Den Pop a level up. Sweetness. Den Pop's trying to learn Slam, but Den Pop can't learn one four moves. Do we normally make him Slam? Sure. Um. Hmm. Twister's not very strong, so let's get rid of Twister. Slam. Yay. You've won my respect. Bonu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I just came here to kick your ass. Oh man, I got. How am I gonna get to that dude? Okay, so. Managed to get here, which means if I jump over here, there's the dude I'm looking for. Murder time. The Pokemon are power packed. Alright, I might just skip him if he doesn't have anything important. Do you have anything important? You have one. Onyx! Oh, well, you know what? It's an Onyx. This could be easily destroyed. With water... Oh my, you're quick. Faster than Den Pop. But one waterfall. Bye-bye. With Slam, that means Den Pop's almost ready to evolve. Wah-ha-ha, -ha, I'm a big loser. Ha ha ha, I didn't want to talk to you. Okay, you! 
What is your battle strategy? It is foolish to use strong moves indiscriminately. Really now? It seems to work with for Fuda quite well. Meryl! Hmm. Go den pop? Dragon Rage? <laughs> because Meryl is not evolved, so. Uh-huh. Two Dragon Rages will take care of you easily. Kitty, you're making noises over there. War Turtle, oh, whoa. Uh, nope, let's keep let's give Den Pop the experience. Hello, War Turtle. Oh. I'm the only reason I'm switching from to War Turtle is because War Turtle's specialty is defense and I think health. First is defense and then health. So we're gonna switch to Moon in to do some massive thunder shocking damage. That withdrawal did nothing. What else you got? About to use War Turtle. Yes. Let's get Den Pop out. Doing the whole Magic Carp swap thing that you would normally use for Magic Carp. Then we switch back to Moon. And I want Den Pop to get the experience. Den Pop needs to evolve before I get to the Elite Four. I would pretty much love it if Den Pop could become like a Dragonite by the time I get to the Elite Four, but you know that might not happen. Because I think the Elite Four have level 40 something Pokemon. Fine, I lost. Not in favor of overly power removal moves. I want to win, but I also don't want to harm my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Your Pokemon only faints. Is there a trainer on that side? Oh, I have to take a pick. There's grass. Let's go on the grass. Grassy, grassy. Ooh, man, what a good choice. Oh, well, I don't really want the X special. <laughs> I was going to say, what, what can I throw out? But I really don't want the X special. I would be throwing out, like, an X special just to get an X special in that case. Dang, pop Myrtles. Murders Geodudes. And zoom. Almost. Almost. Hoppity hop. What's this? Revive. Awesome. That will be very useful. Okay, I think I'll take this guy down, and then this should be it. Why do I climb mountains? Because they're there. Why do I train Pokemon? Because they're there. Why am I going to kick your ass? Because you're there. Simple. Oh. Hello there, Diglett. Goodbye there, Diglett. I don't care if you know Slash. Den Pop has a lot of defense. You, on the other hand, not so much. Ding! Awesome. Attack and defense. Yikes. Ho ho ho! Oh, here comes the hurt. Okay, Den Pop, I, I believe in you. Doug Trio. Ouch! 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 Oh, Den Pop. Normally that would have killed you. Uh, nope, you are not going to survive that, Den Pop. So let's switch to Tamiranor. a crack at these dumb trios. Unless this was like magnitude 2 or something, but... Raise the wave! Splish! And... Almost ding. Losses! They're there too! Yep! What? 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 Really? I thought it was level 32! Oh yeah, Den Pop! It evolved into Dragonair! Oh yeah! 
Dead pop, let's get a good look at you. You are awesome. Attack 61. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hells yes. I mean, Fuda still has a higher attack than you, but seriously, 61's not bad. You got a higher attack than Kitten, but Kitten's not evolved yet. Sweetness! Oh, Den Pop, yes. Alright, search for your Pokedex entry, and then we'll call it a day. Where, 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 where are you? Where are you? Hm, wait, no, that's Garrus. Dratini Dragonair. They say that if it oh sorry, they say that if it emits an aura from its whole body, the weather will begin to change instantly. Hmm. That's nice to know. Is there anything else in here that we never we did Gyarados? Yeah, we did. Eevee. Did I even look at Eevee? It has the ability to alter the composition of its body to suit its surrounding environment. Because I know I didn't catch it, so it wouldn't have said the Pokedex entry. I would have just gone into my inv or the box. Who else didn't we look at when they evolved or slash got? I'm looking in the completely different wrong Pokedex here. <laughs> only Eevee and... Only Kitten and uh, Denpop are in... Did we look at Noctowl? Its eyes are specially adapted. They concentrate even faint light and enable it to see in the dark. They concentrate even faint light. Okay. That almost didn't sound like it made sense. Eridos. It spins string not only from its rear, but also from its mouth. It is hard to say which end is which. I'm pretty sure it's the one with the eyes, I guess? But then again, I, it's been a while since I've seen the rear end of, a spin, of an Eridos. Not that I go looking at rear ends of Ariados a lot. Flaffy, as a result of storing too much electricity, it developed patches. I think I read that one before. But, Ampharos. The tail's tip shines brightly and can be seen from far away. It acts as a beacon for lost people. I get a feeling like I read that too, but maybe that was on my own. Sudowoodo, I would have read. Da 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 da. I think that's it. Yeah, Swinub, I would have read. Oh, oh, I would have read. Okay, that's it. Uh, so that's going to end things here. Next time, we are going to actually make our way to... Uh, I was going to say Pallet Town, but not Pallet Town. We're going to make our way to New Bark Town. And... Because I remember receiving a phone call from Professor Elm saying he has something for me. So we're going to go there and pick it up. So until then, I'll see you guys next level. Den Pop. You look amazing. You're also dying. So murder before you die. Nice crit. Good job. You're awesome. Finally, the third one is the soul of the divine dragon. This one can be tougher or easier than Faust will, depending on how your characters are equipped. As before, it can attack all characters with every move. The divine cannon may hit just two if its initial target is not dart. I'm honoring the dragon. What are you doing, kitty? Yeah, she's running around like crazy. Last, I didn't, last time I saw her running around like that was when I gave her catnip. That was a mistake. <laughs>